Hi, I'm Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages Dungeon 4. Always the dungeon with the good music. It's Skull Dungeon. It's the place that has the skull. There's a bat. This dungeon is kind of a thing. By the way, I may actually die because I don't have my potion anymore. And uh, admittedly, I kind of wish I didn't just waste it in a stupid way because this, uh,. This dungeon can be a thing if it wants to be. I also kind of want to not drop you in the lava because then I have a chance of you actually dropping stuff. Uh, killing these bats is relatively easy. You gotta wait for them to swoop down at you because obviously they're up in the air. They're not going to be vulnerable to you at all. I'm just going to get hit by this Sparky a whole lot because I don't have a boomerang in this universe. Um, but it's all right. It's okay. It's fine. I got myself a compass before the map. Yo, check out this map. It looks not like a map because it's it's compass. It's a compass. That's all it is. There's a key here somewhere. Please give to me more hearts. I would very much enjoy more hearts. Uh, just in general. I don't want to make that yellow. I want to make that blue. Yellow is not cool, fellow. Gotta have blue. Gotta get myself a small key, for reasons I don't know. Not yet, anyway. Eventually, maybe, but right now, no. It's just, it's how it works. Don't touch the lava, kids, it's probably bad. I like the, uh, the idea of Dungeon 4 being, like, the lava dungeon or the water dungeon in both games. Like, it's kind of like, yo, let's have liquids. One's hot, the other's not. Uh, whoops. I kind of jumped into you, bat. They are also no longer on fire once they hit you, but I, I don't know if that really has much of a, a matter. They might do more damage if they're on fire still. I'm not really 100% on that. Because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but, I mean, it's just the one time, so it's not a big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and try to kill as many dudes as I can to keep my hearts up. Probably a good idea. Gonna ride this minecart. Make my way over here for some reason. Uh, yes, we got a key situation going on here. Probably should pick up these pots. Probably. Get out of here, pots. All right, so I gotta angle the seed in such a way that it hits that switch. I did it, all right. You gotta be careful, because, uh, the switch moves and the little mini moldorm is annoying, it's great. You know, I, I don't want the harp, I wanted the sword. Sword and feather, the most bestest thing together. I actually want not to go this way yet, because I realize there's a chest there. I think it's the map. I might want to get that map. It might be useful to have in a situation such as this, because you never know, man. It sure was the map. I can press select to see the thing that I see all the time. Let's see, so this looks like a Metroid eating some cereal. All right, I have figured out what the map looks like today. It is time to move on. All right, so now I wanna go this way. Now I wanna switch the track to a specific pattern. That's what I'm talking about. Get over there. All right, so got ourselves more. Are these like Stolfos Knights or something? I, I feel like these guys have names, but I don't remember what it is. I know they're like skeleton dudes. I kind of want that fairy. All right, well, I have an abundance of health now, but I can't hold all of it in my chest. So a lot of it's just kind of going to waste. Mr. Slime Man, I need you to go away. Cease to live. That's what I want you to do, all right? All right, all right. Now that we have an understanding, and also you're dead, the world can continue. I was gonna say, I know I can't push this, but I kinda wanna see if I can't get rid of some of these bats. Uh, not the case today, all right. I wanna pull this thing. You remember the puzzle for getting the, uh, the flippers or whatever? Gotta reuse that a little bit, but with a slightly different application. Cause this'll, uh... I feel like freeze is the wrong word. 
But cool off is correct. I mean, it stops the lava flow, so it, it can't continue, you know? I'm gonna go ahead here, actually. Seed Shooter and Gale Seed is nice, because you can just get rid of dudes. These guys are kind of hard to hit, so I just I assume... You know what? Get out of here. The seed ricochets. Gotta be prepared for that. Ah, so if you... Alright, so these dudes are kind of annoying, but it, if they get in your way, you can actually hit them with the Gale Seeds, too. Uh, and then they just, they go away. They're gone. Because, like, sometimes they'll get clustered up over here in this corner, and you have very little options there. Like, they'll get knocked back by other seeds, but Gale Seeds will just straight up get rid of them. That's, that's my friendly, uh, game guy tip of the day for you. Just for you, no one else. Alright. Gotta jump over some platforms. Yeah, I didn't want to actually jump over that one. It's fine though, I can I can make do with the consequences of the day. You gotta kinda stall your jump a little bit so you don't jump over the other platform. This room is bad and I hate it. It is not my friend. It's not anyone's friend. But it's alright, you know? It's it's alright. Uh, there's a certain ring that would actually make this a whole lot easier, but I've never had the luxury of owning it right now. Uh, you can't push this thing on the cracked floors because it'll just fall through. A lot like you will. Honestly, I got a little lucky here. I tend to get hit in that room every time. It's... It's a problem. You know, because you gotta watch out for the freaking spike traps and the holes. And if a hole is made at all, you just can't get the block out of that corner. It's, I don't know, I, it's, it's a weirdly made puzzle kind of thing. This, this switch always gives me some trouble because I can never quite remember the exact angle I need for this. Um, I need to be higher, I think? Maybe? There we go, all right. Yeah, like, it usually takes me a few tries because, again, I, I never... I never quite remember exactly the formation I need to be in to pro to progress here. I did it, but at what cost? I didn't want to go in this minecart yet, actually. Uh, but it's alright. I mean, it's kind of nice in a way, because you might kill one of the skeletons or something, but... I didn't. It's tragic, but alright. Please allow me to switch this to blue. Blue means go, remember this. Alright, I killed one of the skeletons. The world is now less one skeleton. Now it's less two skeletons. Ah, this room. Alright, you want to be careful here. I recommend aiming in a diagonal because if you miss, uh, it's not going to ricochet as much. Because, like, if you aim straight up and it misses, it's got to go all the way back down and, like, uh, bounce a few times before you can shoot again. Yeah, because if you don't get them all dead before you make it here, this door is still closed. This room is also kind of a thing. I think there's a fairy here, so that's cool. It's cool. Yeah, because jumping on these platforms is a bit finicky sometimes. Sometimes. I noticed, like, it started carrying me despite the fact I wasn't actually on it yet. Like, some weird physics going on here. I would kill the pea hats, but it seems as though I'm not gonna have the best time doing that. Gotta stall my jumps again, get myself a key, and here we go. Pea hats didn't really bother me at all, so that's cool. Alright. What is going on over here, I wonder? What could be in this direction? I don't know. Something, maybe. There's a cool diamond there. There's a cool mummy there, but he's dead now. Hello. The mighty sword and mighty shield shall crush you. This boss is interesting. Uh, the sword will home in on you, and uh, his shield is unbreakable. Unless, of course, you get him to hit himself with his own sword. Uh, so you kind of have to just lead it this way general direction. He'll try to turn around sometimes. I don't know what actually triggers him turning around. He seems sort of random about it. Uh, but you know how it is. 
Maybe he'll go this way. Yeah. No! My mighty sword is broken! Your shield is broken too, guy. Uh, I gotta be careful here. This guy is pretty aggressive. I believe he does a lot of damage also, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep missing every time. Every time. Miss time every time. Get over here and die, please. All right. That boss is neat. I like that guy. He's, he's fun. He, he's a dude that exists. There's another cool diamond over here. But I'm not about cool diamonds today. Today, I'm about bombing a wall. Bombing a wall in the Zelda game never happens. All right. Ah, this puzzle. All right, so as you walk, this will fill in. If you're standing on the yellow tile at all, uh, it'll fill, like, okay. If you step on a tile that's next to it, it'll fill in like that. So you gotta be a little bit careful. I'm, my recommendation usually is to go around killing all the dudes in the room before you actually do this puzzle for real. That way you don't get moved around because you just reset the room. Uh, as a general rule, uh, with these puzzles. The easiest way to do it, I find, is to kind of go around the room the best you can, uh, but also do not leave more than one dead end. If you leave more than one dead end anywhere, you have probably failed the puzzle. Uh, so you just gotta be mega careful here. Yo, I got the switch hook. Does it come with Joy-Cons? I hope it comes with Joy-Cons. Even if it doesn't, Switch Hook is a freaking rad item that I like. See that diamond? I can switch places with it. See that Moldorm? I mean, I can damage it. It, do it doesn't switch with the Moldorm. It'll also pick up item drops if you so desire, but I didn't do that. Tragically. The switch Hook is just super neat, you know? I have a way to pick up pots and such. It's just... Oh, I like it. I wish this is an item that would come back in some capacity, because, like, you, you can even switch places with some enemies. It's just, there's a lot of potential applications here. Especially my thought was always, like, why hasn't this come back in, like, a Four Swords kind of game? Because, like, dude, just think about all the applications you could have there. I mean, I'm just, it's, it's a wonderful thing, I think, but, you know. Yeah, Switch Hook is neat. I love it. It's great. Uh, but that's what the dungeon is about. Switch hook time all the time. Pressing buttons using diamonds. All right. All right, bat. Get out of here, bat. No one loves you, bat. That might be incorrect and rude, but I don't care. <laughs> Got him. Anyway, making our way to some stairs that are a long ways away. I can switch places with the mummy. That's what I want to do on this day and age. I can't switch places with snakes. Truly tragic. So the, the trick with the pots and such is anytime you switch with a pot, it's gonna break the pot. So, uh, you gotta be careful about that. Also, you gotta be very aware of your surroundings when you switch, because you can't go through these diamonds, so you gotta make sure you're placed just right in order to make it, get, make it through certain things. It's, is what I'm trying to say. All right. Yeah, actually, like, the first part of this dungeon is kind of like this weird gauntlet of stuff, and then the second part is just like, yo, let's make some rad stuff with the switch hook. I love it. It's good. It's good, I say. Ah, we got ourselves some more jumpy, jumpy slimes I can't see, because they're, why are they all lined up right there? I have never seen anything close to that. That is so weird. Slime dudes are just, just, just crazy, man. They're just crazy. They're crazy. I can't believe how crazy they are. All right, we got ourselves another one of these, but again, I think it's probably in your best interest to kill all the dudes before you, you try to solve this puzzle, because it's, you know. Get out of here, mini Moldorm. Get out of here, give me those bombs, all right. All right, 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 all right. Uh, let's see. Gotta be careful around these parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, I should be safe as long as I leave a path 
around various areas. Remember, don't leave more than one dead end. It's, it's the rule. The rule of life. You know, you gotta be careful uh, around these statuaries. Gotta be careful, gotta be quick. I think I actually goofed. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to cover all these blocks here. See, I, I made the fatal error of making more than one dead end. Like, see what I'm talking about? Let's try going up real quick. It might be maybe a good idea. Maybe. It's maybe a good idea? It may be a good idea. It's entirely possible that this is a good idea. Uh, nope, I should be alright. Okay. Gotta go over here. Go over here, and go over here, and go over here. Followed by going over here. There we go. That's how you solve a puzzle in this day and age. There, like, there's a lot of different ways you could do this. Like, there's so many different possible solutions. It's just, I like puzzles that have a whole bunch of different possibilities. I hit the jump button, but for some reason it just didn't work. I don't know. I think, honestly, like, this is kind of where Oracle of Ages, like, really ramps up, like, the cool stuff. I don't know, I just, I like this a lot. You know, it's, it's good. Oops, well, I was gonna go ahead and just go over there, but these platforms are weird and I just fell off. Yeah, you, you have to be very sure of yourself with these platforms. I, again, I pressed the jump button, but the game disagreed, I guess. I, I, all right, see, now, that was me being impatient. You gotta jump off of these platforms, too. Why is this happening? Can I please stop falling in the lava? Please, okay, well, that was me being impatient again, but... The heck, video game, just let me have this! <laughs> let me have this, please. It's all I request in this day and age. I was getting my seed shooter out just in case, cause you know, it, it might have been a thing that came up. It wasn't, but it could have been. All right, you can switch hook the pots if you want. I don't think I really need to, cause I can just jump over them, but you know. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. All right, 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 all right. Okay, let's head on over this dungeon kind of takes a bit. I don't know if you've noticed, uh, but we are almost at the end. Almost. We just got a boss key to find, and it's probably over this way. Gotta make sure this lava is nice and cool. Give yourself a lot of time here. We don't have Pegasus seeds in this universe, so uh, gotta be quick. You may want to equip the feather and make a jump for it at that last bit. I got kind of lucky, admittedly. Is a thing. All right, gotta do it again. Though this time is a little bit easier, kinda. So just pick up these pots. Don't even need to pick up the pots because we got the switch hook anyway, which we're gonna kind of need to use if we want to make it this time. Now, gotta switch our way across these gaps. Yeah. Now I need to jump. Jumping is cool. I love to jump. Ah. This puzzle. I do so enjoy a good puzzle. Um, let's see. All right, so what I want to probably do, you gotta be aware, you can only switch with the pot once. So you gotta make sure they're in a correct position. Gotta push this upward. Uh, push this over here. There we go, yeah! Solution found! You got the boss key? You sure did. All right. I like that puzzle also. There's a lot of good puzzles that I like in this game. In both games, really. They, they, they both have their moments of clever puzzle time. Oracle of Ages is the more puzzle-oriented game, so it kind of gets more of that, but, you know, it's, it's all right. They can share the puzzle time. I think it is totally acceptable to have a shared puzzle time. I was trying to knock you in the lava or something, but 
It's easier said than done, turns out. Alright, I had a feeling there was a fairy here. Whoa, didn't expect to switch with that one, but it's fine. Kill the bat, alright. Might want to equip a sword or something. Alright. Hello, eyeball man! Eyeball man is here to say, hello, I'm an eyeball. How was your day? Uh, whoops. Alright, we can switch places now. So you gotta switch places with the guy if you want to do damage, because it'll stun him. I would personally be pretty stunned too if I suddenly switched places with a guy. Unlike the Link to the Past hookshot, you do not have any invincibility frames when you are switch hooking. It's kind of tragic, really. Alright. Yeah, this guy's not too tough. But, uh, you gotta be careful, because you, you can eat a lot of damage during that. Uh, but, you know. It's just a matter of switching it up. I got myself a burning flame, the essence of time. Ah, it reignites wavering hearts with a hero's burning passion. Of course it does. Because what else would fire do? Nothing. That's what. All right. Sup, tree? How are you this day and age? It's a joke, probably. I'm remembering more and more. The ridge north of Nehru's house must be related to the essences. Maybe. But maybe not. I don't know. Next time, we're gonna go back to the Oracle of Seasons Town and see what up. Yeah. I'll see you later, and goodbye!